Thousands of people watched our story on the Big Lot store manager who says he was fired for following a shoplifter. He said he did it because the shoplifter threw a punch at his assistant manager. And now there are witnesses. A husband and wife back up this manager's story, and the wife told chief investigative reporter Berkeley Breen that the shoplifter hit her too. Berkeley's outside the Big Lots in Aronicoit. The store manager followed the shoplifter into the parking lot because he says he saw the shoplifter take a swing at his assistant manager. Well, it turns out as that shoplifter was trying to get out of the store, he threw an elbow into a customer too. I felt something shoved me. Karen and Tom Egan had just finished shopping at the Big Lots on Hudson Avenue. Karen says the shoplifter dropped his elbow into her as he ran away. I was startled when it happened. And then when I saw what was going on, um, I guess I was, I was just angry. This is the incident that the former store manager says got him fired. Pat Guider believes he got fired because he violated the company policy about pursuing and trying to identify shoplifters. Guider says he followed the shoplifter because he threw a punch at his assistant manager. I let people who shoplift leave the store every day, mm -hmm. every day. We just put it in the system that they ask us to do. This was an assault. This wasn't shoplifting. This was an assault. And I thought I was doing the right thing by calling asset uh, protection and, um, and reporting it, and it ends up getting me fired. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. In an earlier interview, Tom told me that he drove around the neighborhood looking for the shoplifter. When he didn't find him, he returned to the store parking lot and talked with Pat Guider. Friday night, he and Karen watched our story on his firing. It was like, oh my God, isn't that the manager? Isn't that the guy that we met? And we were shocked. We were like, they fired him for doing nothing. Karen says Arondicoit police asked her if she wanted to file a report, but she declined. In Arondicoit, Berkeley, Bury News 10, NBC. We have emailed and called Big Lots for a week now. We asked for the company policy on this and if following a shoplifter out of a store is a fireable offense. The company has still not responded.